Hey, welcome back to our channel. I'm Jared from 3C's Recreation. We have the new 20 inch Stasic E-Drive. This is just the Harley colorway. Uh, Braxton, my son's been riding us a lot. We just got the bike last week. He rides it uh, a couple hours a day. And he came in yesterday and his throttle is basically on cruise control. The spring inside has been, it quit working. So we want to get inside of there and see what happened. So in this video, I just want to show you guys how to take this throttle apart. Uh, it should be pretty straightforward and hopefully we can see the spring in there is either out of alignment or broken and we can get the replacement parts coming. But just so you can see, the throttle stops wherever I put it. Um, does not return like we want it to. Here is an example of one that returns. So we're looking for that feature there where it snaps back to closed. So the first thing that we're going to do is we need to remove the two hex head screws here and we can slide the brake out of the way. You don't have to take these screws all the way out. You just got to loosen them a little bit. I'm going to slide that down out of the way. Then now this whole throttle could slide off the end. I have one zip tie here that's kind of holding it together. I can pull some slack out of it. Uh, but before we can take the throttle off, we have to remove the end cap. And this just protects the end of the handlebar. If you were to lean on the dirt with it, it doesn't hurt the end of the throttle tube. It just pushes right into the end of the handlebar. So now we could pull this throttle tube right off the end of the handlebar here. It's held on by the same clamps that the brake are using. And to get inside the throttle tube, you're going to take your grip. You're just going to pull down on it. And you'll see, you kind of want to get it down a little ways. And then there's going to be this little plastic spacer in here as well. So I'm just trying to get the grip down far enough to show you guys. And then that little spacer is now free in there. And hopefully the lighting's okay. And hopefully you guys can see that. And then now on the inside of here, there are three little screws, um, the one, two, and three. So we'll take those out next. Okay, so we've got our three screws out now that are holding that plastic spacer in. If you just tip it up, that plastic spacer will fall down to go with the other one that's laying there. And at this point, because we know our spring is not connected, we can just pull it apart. And this is what the inside of these throttles look like. And you can see inside of there, our spring is coiled up inside and the throttle sits right in this channel and goes back and forth so just kind of pay attention when you take this apart where, where these things are and how they're touching and so now what we have to do is realign this spring there's a hole right in the bottom of the throttle tube there that the spring is going to go into the spring is in the channel on the top and then it's in the this hole in the bottom so i'm going to pull it out we're going to lay it down in here And keep in mind that this spring has two different ways, so you can't do this wrong. The part with the elbow on it is going to go down into the throttle housing. One of my big fingers, if I can get it to work here. So now that's laying down in the housing down in there. And now you can see the elbow sticking out of the side there. And that's what's going to ride in this little channel. So we're going to take it. And we'll try to start it onto there and then spin it forward and then set it down in its groove. So now, a little spacer is hiding what I just did. So now it's the spring is reclocked, and you can see it's in its channel. Um, you can see the little teeny part of the spring in the back side there. So our spring is there and the spring is in the channel. So now all I have to do is put our plastic pieces back on, which is just held on by the three screws. So. This can only go on one way, it's shaped kind of like a teardrop. So I'll turn it until it lines up with where it needs to go. And next we'll put our three screws back in. Okay, so now we got our three screws reinstalled on the throttle housing and you can tell and you can hear it. It's snapping back like it should. The last plastic spacer just rides against the throttle tube itself. And then I can just fold the grip back down. So grip snap back into place. Like I want it. Uh, pretty simple from here. All I'm gonna do is re-slide this on the end of the bar. And we've got the little plug on the end. We'll put that in now as well. So plug is in. We'll kind of pull this back to where we want it to be close to the end of that. We'll slide our brake house brake uh, hanger back on the end. And I'll grab the Allen key. And at this point, it's purely about like the kid's preference and how tall they are with where you 
uh, align the brake. So Braxton's got, I'm gonna kind of keep the brakes the same on both sides for him. We'll tighten this down. And the last step is gonna be um, putting one more zip tie back on. This had two zip ties on it originally. I took one off already earlier. So I'll put one more zip tie to keep this all going down where it needs to go along the side of the bike there. Uh, but yeah, that's that's a quick fix on a Stasic 20 E-Drive throttle. Thanks for watching. We hope you found that helpful. That's how you reclock a spring on a throttle tube of the new Stasic 20 E-Drive. Have a great day.